Ah, just in time. I was just thinking of contacting you. We've identified the location of the remaining Force Land Army bases. It'll be a breed. All right. Let's go crush the rest of them. Ha! <laughs> we really let loose. With this, we should be able to delay their invasion. Well, as long as that giant tank unit doesn't remobilize, that is. Rosetta didn't show up at any of these battles. Did she go back to Forest Land? Maybe. A tank as unique as hers probably can't be repaired out in the field. Thankfully, that'll buy us some time. <laughs> nice one, Prince. <laughs> Wait, that's not mine. Oh, it's mine. Oh, finally got through, Princess. Glad you're safe. Croa! We should call me Sir Croa, but anyway. I've got news. Let's meet up at Trick Camp. Wouldn't it be better to tell me now? Never know who might be listening. Can't say this on air. Just hurry. Believe me, it'll blow you away. Oh, come on. He wouldn't ask this of us without cause. Let's go. I'll inform General Are by radio. Hey, you made it. What's the news? I've managed to locate King Jam. <gasps> really? I've never lied to a lady since the day I was born. That's a lie right there. All right, maybe I was stretching the truth just a little bit. But cross my heart, the stuff about King Jam is legit. Where is my father? Crump Army Research Lab. And this information's reliable? Very much so. Crowa's subordinates helped us feed false information to the Forest Land Army about the Resistance having a plan to rescue the King. With the slight exaggeration that they knew exactly where he was being locked up. It spread like wildfire, at which point Red quietly switched out the research lab guards for a team of his hand-picked elites. I see. But are we sure that isn't just another of Bread's traps? <sighs> well, not like we have any choice. How will you save him? By going forward with a fake rescue mission. Wait, what? The Resistance will stage an all-out assault on Vendor Base to rescue King Jam. But you said my father's being held in the Crump Army Research Lab. And that's where we'll be going, right? Misdirection's the greatest weapon an outnumbered force has. Diversion and infiltration, baby. Huh. Same as always, then. Including us being stuck with the risky part. I mean, I guess that's just what we get for being the best. What's this? There's droves of them. Based on their state of panic, I bet they're heading to reinforce Vendor Base. Which means now's our chance. We can't be reckless. We may have thinned their numbers, but these are Bread's elites. We should try to infiltrate as covertly as possible. There you are, Prince. Huh? There's no lock on this door. How does it open? No, wait. There is a lock, but it has a very unusual shape. Whoever's in here must be someone they really don't want getting out. You mean... Thief, can you open this? I could do this in my sleep. Just a little wiggle here, and... <gasps> Father! <gasps> You're still just as clumsy. As you used to be. <sighs> Do you know who I am? Of course I do, Anne. There's no way I'd fail to recognize my one and only daughter. Father! You're all grown up now. I'm so happy that you're alive. Me too, Father. Thank goodness.
Were you the ones who protected my daughter? All we really did was bring her here. It was Longo who rescued her from the castle ten years ago and kept her safe all this time. Longo? I see. And he looked after this, too. Oh, Lilith's necklace. Yes, but Mother is... I heard what happened to her while I was in prison. Lilith, I still can't believe it. But considering you have the necklace here, I can assume the Aquanium is at least safe from bread. What do you mean? I mean, it is safe. We've got it right here. You do? And it's real? Yeah. We've been gathering it all up to keep Bread from getting his hands on it. I'll be. This certainly is a quanium. Yeah, see? Huh? Hey, where are you going? I... I don't know. My body is just moving by itself. No. Please stop her. That scrawny girl actually hurt Prince? Was she always that strong? And No! Stop! <laughs> Struggle all you like. Ah! Give it back, you little... Stop him! you're still half human and that part is oh so easy to control back to the path of righteousness by ridding this world of demons! Bills! Whoa there! Don't go getting any funny ideas now! I can have this foolish fiend wipe you all out before you can even blink. Run! Away! I won't allow that. Go! Let Prince handle this! But... It's fine! Just go! Do you trust me or not? No. I trust you. Ah! Uh, filthy fiend! Uh. 
<laughs> Serves you right. Uh-oh. I'm in no shape to keep fighting after that. Damn it. I used up too much energy walking that weird move. Prince, are you with us? Oh, man? I'm here too, you know. What happened? The last thing I remember, I passed out in that prison. Rao came back by himself to pull you out of there. What about you? I, uh, had the important job of securing an escape route. Hmm. And where is Anne's old man? Behind you. Wait. Who's driving? Anne. Said she wanted to give it a try. She'd better not get my tank all beat up. That was close, Prince. Muniel had you up against the wall back there. There's no way Muniel can be human. He's much too powerful. Yup. You got that right. Because... He's not human. What? Then what is he? You mean... He's a demon? No. Muniel is... An angel. Long ago. Everyone. You have all had to bear so much over the last ten years. Thank you. I'm sorry I put you through this. What are you saying? Our trials are nothing compared to what you have been through. Now, you must be tired. There will be plenty of time to catch up later. Please, get some rest. How's your father doing? He passed out as soon as he lay down. <laughs> Being a prisoner for ten years must have taken its toll on him. I wish we could let him rest, but things are about to get ugly. Mm. I doubt Bread will take the King's escape sitting down. We have to protect King Jam and the last of the Aquanium, but the radar only showed four spots. The fifth is a mystery. It won't be a mystery for long. Father! You mean you know where the Aquanium is? Not where, but I know who has it. I gave it to someone I trust dearly. It's someone you know well, Beelzebub. Someone I know? Uh, Thief? The old man? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, please. Like you have any idea where it is. True. So who is it then? Lucifer. My de- The king of demons? How does that make sense? It's a long story. Care to hear it? You see, a little over ten years ago, Lilith happened to find a strange box. Darling, do you know anything about this box? I found it in an old vault. It's locked and I can't manage to get it open. Hmm, this is the first I've seen of it. Longo, any idea what this is? Not in the slightest, though I must say it's a rather odd-shaped keyhole. I looked around for the key to it, but couldn't find anything the right shape. Ah, this seems like a long shot, but let's try it. Could you please pass me your necklace, Lilith? All right. Hmm, just as I thought, your necklace's pendant is a perfect match for the shape of this box's keyhole. Let's try and open it, darling. All right. Oh my, it's gorgeous. What do you think it could be? This is... Aquanium ore. What? Aquanium? That incredibly dangerous material that produces immense energy? Lilith has been alive for millennia. If she recognizes it, I'm sure she's right. But why would it be here? Perhaps the previous king kept it in the event of an emergency. You know, I've heard rumors that Aquanium was the cause of that terrible explosion in Sandland all those years ago. I think we should hide it. 
If Bread knew of its existence, he'd surely use it as a weapon. So we can't keep it close at hand. But we can't exactly just throw it away, either. We could ask my father to keep it safe. King Lucifer? But... Are you telling me you don't trust fiends? Uh, of course not. To be honest, she has a point. I can't imagine a safer place to keep it. And don't you worry about the key, either. I'll keep it as close as ever. And that's what happened. Did your father tell you about any of this? Did you know about this, thief? This is the first I'm hearing of this. Is that so? Which means with Lilith gone, only Lucifer knows where the last of the Aquanium is. Let's call it a day and come back to it tomorrow, shall we? I can't believe my necklace was the key to the Aquanium chest. Well, as long as it's been left with my dad, it's in safe hands. So we've been going around collecting Aquanium like mad for nothing? Well, it's still a dangerous material. Even if they have to give up on reactivating Garum, they could still do terrible damage just by using it for its explosive properties. So there's no change in our to-do list even with my father freed. I like things nice and simple. We'll get rid of that stupid angel and get the Aquanium back. Which stupid angel? Muniel, obviously. Wait, Muniel's an angel? Hmm, makes sense. Lady Lilith wouldn't lose to a human. Mother. Well, we'll need to replenish our energy if we want to succeed. Yeah, I'll sleep here. I'll take a spot on the floor too. <coughs> what was that? It sounded like Anne. What happened? It's gone. My necklace is gone. Are you sure? Maybe you just put it down somewhere. That's not it. I left it on my pillow, but now I can't find it anywhere. Ah! What now? He's gone. Epi's gone. What? How could you let him escape? I didn't let him escape, he just got away! That's the same thing, you idiot! And the day after King Jam told us what it does. The timing's far too convenient to be coincidence. Do you think it was Epi who stole the necklace? Knowing Epi, I wouldn't put it past him. Do you think you can track him? I'll give it a shot. I can think of a few routes he could have taken. Prince, we're going back to Sandland. What for? Now that they have the key, the first place they'll go is Demon Village. So? My dad's there. He'll take care of it. When it comes to Aquanium, we can't take any chances. Well, sounds like a waste of time to me. But if you say so, old man. What? What have they done? No. The Forest Land Army were this quick? Come on, let's go. Looks like they're still inside. What are you doing? Attack him as one! Damn it! The final piece of Aquanium! It's so close! Munia, can't you use your art of manipulation? I, I'm already using it, but I can't make him budge so much as a finger! I recognize that spell. You're that bumbling angel who broke my widescreen TV years ago. I thought I tore off your wings and flung you into the sunset. Sh shut up! Wait. When we first met, were you covered in wounds because of... Uh, yes, that's right. This brute had beaten me black and blue, but I swore revenge and trained for our showdown! Fool. Uh, what? Not this again! 
Didn't I tell you? My dad's got this. Damn it. Let's see how you... Like this. We're not done yet. Understood. Papa, watch out! Be gone! <laughs> Papa! No! Such toughness! I never dreamt the King of Demons could be this strong. Where'd that stupid angel go? Over here, Lucifer! The sealing urn, created by the Divine One? I couldn't use it back then, but now, urn! Seal Lucifer away! <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and... Huh? Give me my dad back, you jerk! <laughs> I did it! Lucifer's been sealed away! <laughs> and while I'm at it... I might as well get rid of his brat too, huh? You little twerp. I'll teach you a lesson. Stand back, everyone. I'll take him out myself. <laughs> like I'll ever give in to an angel shrimp like you! Hmm. Looks like I'll have to shut that insolent mouth of yours by force! Why won't you stick and what a whim? How dare you! Here I go! Did you think a fiend like you ever stood a chance against an archangel? Archangel my butt, you little runt! You insulted me again! That's the third time you've walked an angel to his face! Here I go! What a whip! Nah, after vanquishing Lucifer, you lot aren't even worth my time. Huh? Here beneath me, the insect men are more than enough to deal with you. Hey, get back here! We have... Oh! We're too late! It looks like the prize is ours. Indeed. Then, let's be on our way. Are you sure you trust the insect men to finish them off? It doesn't matter if they manage to survive temporarily. After all the trouble they've put us through, it would serve them right to know true despair by witnessing Gara rise into the sky in their final moments. <laughs> oh, wait! The Aquani... Looks like we've got to take care of these guys first. Take that! 
Out of luck. We're totally sunk. How could they have taken out my dad? Mom's gone, and Grandpa too, and the Aquanium's been stolen. This is it. It's over. I'm sorry about Lady Lilith, but the King of Demons has not been taken out. Huh? From what Muniel said, that urn only seems capable of sealing Lucifer away. The King of Demons may be trapped, but he should still be alive. Probably. So if we take the urn back from that brat, we can still fix this? And keep them from using the Aquanium. Right! For starters, we've got to let the Trick Camp guys know about this. RA2, I'll contact him right away. General Are, this is Rao. The Demon Village has been attacked. What? What's the current situation? They sealed away Lucifer and ran off with the Aquanium. Things have gone from bad to worse. We are going to Forestland to retrieve what was stolen. We'll leave Sandland in your hands. Of course! Okay. Should we get everyone together to figure out what to do next? No, not our place. Let's leave the big decisions to King Jam and Longo. I'll go and tell Father then. And I'll speak with Longo. All right. It's come down to this. We must put everything on the line to stop Garum's reactivation. Is it even possible? This is the most destructive weapon in history which once sunk an entire continent, the Flying Fortress, Garum. And there's only one way inside it. You'll have to make your way to the lowest level of the Masala dig site where it's buried, and use the tunnel to its entrance there. But with Bread and Munio already headed for Garum, their defenses will be so tight that not so much as a single ant could slip through. We must be prepared to make sacrifices on our side. Though any member of the Resistance would be furious if you dared question their resolve. They're just like the Rebel Army. There's no more frightening enemy than one that doesn't know fear. Doesn't quite ring true coming from the man who won that war. I lost that war as badly as you did. Perhaps our bitter experiences were the kick in the pants as old dogs needed to learn new tricks, eh? <laughs> I should hope so. So even Lucifer has been bested. There's not a safe place left in this world. Then we'll make one. That's what we've been fighting for, right? Hmm. Though considering how many times I've almost lost hope, maybe that's not very convincing coming from me. The people around us are what shape us, aren't they? I wish Lilith could have seen the person you've become. Father. Let's give them some alone time. Yeah. This might be the last time they see each other. Huh? What? Uh, nothing. Huh? It's just you guys? The rest of the Resistance left only a little while ago. Was that under your orders, Longo? No. It was their own decision. Nothing could dissuade them. Soldiers itch to go where there's fighting. Indeed. I'll be leaving soon myself. King Jam, I leave this place in your capable hand. If there's anything I can do, no. This is your fight. I'll be praying 
for your safety. Swimmers, move out! Oh, yeah. right. Good luck to you. <laughs> you too. <sighs> We'd better get going as well. And I need you to come back alive. I'll be fine. Whose daughter do you think I am? And she's our king's granddaughter and prince's niece at that. An impressive bloodline, when you put it that way. Beelzebub, Rao, Thief, please look after Anne. I won't ask you to protect her, just try not to let her be too reckless. Understood. Not long now. Supreme Commander! Rosetta? I thought I ordered you to see to our defenses. Forgive me, but... There is something I would like to confirm with you. Yes? You once said if we were able to reactivate Garon, it wouldn't be used against the Resistance. Please tell me that is still true. King Jam and Princess Anne are among them after all. That's former king and former princess. Garum shall not be fired within our borders. However, if they flee to Sandland and continue to oppose us, that's a different story. You're telling me you still haven't found the Resistance? Flush them out and burn them to ashes! What are you doing here? I thought I ordered you to command the front lines, Epi. With Garum functional once more, we can now wipe out the Resistance with a single shot. Surely I don't need to trouble myself with something so prosaic. Remind me, which one of us is the commanding officer? Yes, yes. Very well, as you say. You spoiled little brat. The resistance is nearly here. All forces, prepare for battle. Incompetence around me. Hey, it's half stash. Who said that? You comic burning farmer. Bad enough that I should have to do the bidding of bread nepo, baby. But now, my delicate gut is assaulted at every turn by the likes of you. I'm coming to get you! Stay on guard, Prince! behind the rocks and counterattack! Ends, you fools! I'll let Daddy's girl Rosetta finish you while I watch from a safe distance. Looks like there's nobody left but her. Rosetta, surrender now, Anne. 
The Supreme Commander is preparing to activate Garm as we speak. You have no hope of victory. Lay down your weapon, and I might put in a good word with Fa- The Supreme Commander. You should know I'm too stubborn to change. That's true. The Anne that I know is stubborn, a sore loser, and a crybaby. You never would go easy on me back when we'd play games together. Oh, I would. You were just so weak that you still lost. Well, not anymore. We'll find out. Hope you're not expecting me to start going easy on you now! We're here to stop you, Rosetta! You and your father both! Seems to me that you have forgotten that you haven't won against me even once! And you've forgotten you're out of minions to hide behind! Look at you acting tough! So this is the extent of your strength. Thank your father for crying out loud! Why aren't you doing something to stop him? Oh, I would! I thought he was wrong. You would actually justify the invasion of a sovereign nation? Sandland is a country that is ruled by a depraved monarch, enthralled to corrupting demons. All Supreme Commander Brett seeks is to save its people from their oppressors. That's nonsense. Even if Brett's motivations are as pure as you claim they are, Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Then I'll be there to correct my father's mistakes. I can. Taking a lot of damage. Don't let up. Enough of this. Stand down. Afraid I can't do that. If you want to get past, it will have to be over my dead body. <sighs> Bios? I'm grateful for your long lifespan, fiend. It will give me the chance to kill you in my next long. Come on! Let's go. Rosetta. <laughs> Damn it. Freaking fiends. Oh, la la. What a pity. Happy. What are you doing here? No, never mind. That doesn't matter. After them. You have to... Such agitation. I'll help you relax for a very long time. This is no time for games. <laughs> You... I'll give you a glorious death in battle to expunge the dishonor of your defeat. You'd prefer that to getting a lecture from your father, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, oh. <sighs> We're so close. Stupid! No! 
amazing! <laughs> Indeed it is! With this, our army will control the entire world! And yours truly has risen to the post of second in command! Now no one in the world can defy me! <laughs> I can't stand it. How dare those worms put up such a fight? That does it. Soldiers, ready the main cannon. Target our lower ports. The main cannon? That hasn't been tested yet. Just fire the cannon. Your king demands it. Y yes, sir. Preparing to fire main cannon. Powering up. The main cannon? Has he lost his mind? Energy at maximum! Initiating countdown! 30 seconds! Rosetta! That light! That's Aquadium! 17! 16! This is bad! We need to leave now! But... Rosetta! Why, Munio? We can't fire Garum on our own territory! I don't remember making any such promise. Besides, justice requires sacrifices. Like when we imprisoned King Jam. You didn't protest then. <coughs> Mongo! Princess! Thank goodness, all four of you made it back safely. If the cannon was aimed towards us, we wouldn't have made it. And the others? We lost many of us in that attack. Uh, Mr. Rao, who is that in your car? General Rosetta. What? Longo, I can explain. I won't ask further, but I will inform King Jam. First, we should see to her wounds. How is she? I've done what I can. Now, the rest is up to her. Look after her. 
Please. I will. Does it look like Rosetta will pull through? I don't know. Bien says it depends on her strength. Then you can count on her making it. She's always been a tough girl, after all. Perhaps we can get some useful information from her, once she wakes. Are you going to keep fighting? I've been thinking. Maybe you could take shelter in Spino instead. And just throw away everything we've worked for? I'm not saying we don't stand a chance. But we've lost so many allies already. Even so, I'm afraid that running away from here is the one thing I cannot do. Why not? If I abandoned my people and homeland, what kind of king would I be? Besides, we still have allies here. And I'm sure that even more will come back. Ten years I've kept them waiting. It's only fair that I wait for a time, too. But... Red and his troops already know where you are! They could obliterate this entire region if they fire Garam's main cannon at you! That only makes it all the more important that I not leave. As long as I'm here, Supreme Commander Bread might hesitate to fire on this location. Even during those long years he kept me imprisoned, he always treated me with total respect. But, Father! Anne, every person born on this planet has a duty they must fulfill. Mine is to be a stout tree under which all those seeking refuge here can find shelter. Now, you must go fulfill your own. My duty? But... I don't even know what that is. Just listen to your heart, Anne. That is where you're sure to find your answer. That's my girl. Go on. It's odd. I've been at war my whole childhood. I should remember all the scared and lonely times here. Yet somehow, all my memories of this place are happy ones. Strange, huh? Wonder why. I am going to fight. My father said that he would stay here and protect everyone who supported him. That's why I want to be a beacon of hope for all of those who protected me. I take it you found your answer? Yeah. The two of them are truly the sword and shield of Forest Lad. Uh, what? Uh, please. Don't make me spell it out for you. Guess I'll never know. In that case, we must return to Sandland. We have to stop Red at all costs, and we'll need the Royal Army's help for that. And that told Muniel, too. And we have to rescue the King of Demons. Oh. Prince, you didn't forget about that, did you? No, 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 of course not. Anyhow, let's get going. I will be back, Father. Longo. Anne. Rosetta! You... can't leave. If the Resistance flees to Sandland, Father said, he'll wipe you out with Garum. Bread will attack anyway, whether we go or not. No. That's not what my father wants. Come on, Rosetta. You really believe him? He is not a bad man. He's just very lonely. I'm sorry, Rosetta. Wait. I'm going too. Take me with you. We can't let you go before you answer some questions. Tell me, why do you want to go with Anne? I just want more time. Time? I should have died back at the Masala dig site. But that tyke didn't finish me off. Who you calling a tyke? Anne told me all we really needed was to take the time to talk to each other. 
Now, I think I'm finally beginning to see what she meant. Hmm. I'd like to know what you think, Beelzebub. Why are you asking me? Because both you and Anne are the ones who changed Rosetta. I don't care. She can do whatever she wants. And what do you think, Anne? I want her to come with me. Thanks. You know how the saying goes. Put water on an old fire, but logs on a new one. Hmm. Very well. Let's let Ari know that we're going back to Spino. I'm not sure it's a great idea for me to go into town. Yeah, considering you shelled the place. Thief! Why don't you lend her the Santa costume? No way! I'm not lending my favorite costume to a human. It's fine. I'll just try not to draw too much attention. Sorry for the wait. Ari says he's on his way here. In the meantime, let's ask around Spino to see how Sandland is doing. Can someone tell me why we're stopping here? To issue a demand of surrender to Sandland's king. Should he fail to comply, we will turn his capital to ash. You're letting them surrender? Oh, fine. Come on, move it! Set course for the demon village. We'll smash it to pieces! What? But the Supreme Commander ordered us to the capital. That can wait! We're pounding the demon village into the ground first! If we show the royal army Garum in action, surely they'll realize how futile resistance is. We stand by. Hmm. Very well. Nothing wrong with saving the best for last. Uh, is everyone seeing this? Uh, the Forest Land Army's gigantic battleship is floating over the dam! Damn it! So Garum's entered Sandland! I saw the news on TV. What do we do? We're gonna have to fight. But can we win? There's no way to know what a battle's outcome will be until it's fought. Huh? Hey, old man. Sorry, Mayor Tor. Will you please excuse us? Right. General Ari, wait! Move away. That woman's a Force Land Army general! Not anymore. Rosetta's no longer our enemy. Right? I'm not sure. But at the moment, I don't have a gun to point at you, nor would I if I did. Let me assure you. For the time being, my priority is stopping my father. Do you really expect me to trust an enemy general? <clears throat> hey, easy now. There's no way that your wound could have healed yet. And who do you think wounded me? Her brigade. I know how you feel, but she's not lying. The prince would know. As far as I can tell, she doesn't have any bad intentions. If you say so. Now, shall we talk about the Doomsday Weapon flying towards us as we... Where are you going? I don't want to invite undue suspicion by making you worry I'm spying on your war council. <clears throat> First, I'd like to hear everyone's thoughts. If we draw out the battle with that flying fortress long enough, their Aquanium energy will have to run out at some point, right? That's true. But how are we supposed to survive long enough for that to happen? Well, uh... Realize you hadn't really thought this through, huh? I, I was just taking my time thinking of the best strategy. No. Our only option is to attack so swiftly that the enemy isn't given any time to think. Do you think Bread would be willing to talk if we could get Rosetta to contact him? If he'd agree to a meeting, I'd speak with him in person. 
Even if I had to go alone and unarmed. If Bread were a man of reason, he would have listened to King Jam. That's a fair point. Maybe fighting is the only way. I just hope we can settle this without getting civilians of either country involved. What's that thing capable of? Its main cannon is unimaginably powerful. They could easily destroy the whole world if they wanted to. To make things worse, it's too high up for our tanks to hit. And even if they could, it's so massive that they wouldn't leave a dent. The only options I can think of are to take control of the command center or somehow immobilize it. Then how about we bust in there and kick their butts right now? We'd need an airplane to get up there. If only the Royal Army hadn't, uh, lost its cargo airship. And whose fault is that? In any case, a plane as slow as the cargo airship would end up riddled with holes before it got anywhere near Garum. Right. We need an airplane fast enough to dodge anti-air missiles. Come to think of it, how exactly did the Forest Land Army transport that Aquanium from the Endmill base? What do you mean? We used a radar device attuned to Aquanium to detect some at one of their bases. And as we were watching, it then zoomed to a distant location at an incredible speed. It might have been carried by an airplane. It had to be. It was moving in a straight line on the radar. Yes. Any form of ground transport would have been affected by the terrain. Only an airplane could pull that off. But where did it land? We didn't see it there at the Masala dig site. Rosetta would know. Let me ask her. Why don't you look chipper? Have you come up with a plan? That depends on your next answer. Are you saying you want my help? I won't ask you to fight. I just want to know where the Forest Land Army's airplane is. The airplane? Oh, I see. You know that's insane, right? You'll just be throwing your life away. It's the only way to stop your father. <laughs> it's at Vendor Base. Thank you, Rosetta. I'll do whatever it takes to stop bread. I want to fly the airplane once we get it! Hey, no fear, Prince. I want to fly it. Now that you mention it, I've never gotten to pilot an airplane before. Ha! <laughs> Even the old man wants to give it a spin! Are you going to? No. I'll do what I can to distract them from the ground with my tank unit. In that case, mind lending me a tank? Can't have too many decoys, right? Our tanks aren't easy to handle, you know. I'm used to not having things easy. I'll figure it out. Well, what's our plan? If you need hairspray, I'm armed to the teeth with it. Don't think creating a diversion will help us this time. So we smash our way through head on? Isn't that a bit reckless, even for us? Go ahead and sneak in if you're chicken. I will. Us guys are going through the front, right? You all stink! Uh -oh. <laughs> Too scared to face me, huh? An insect man? <laughs> like one measly insect man's gonna stop me. Maybe Anne had the right idea.